All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Travis Roberts, and welcome to uh, this live stream. Thanks for joining. I'm here with Dean Ellerby. I'll hand it off to Dean. Oh, thanks, Travis. So I'm Dean. I'm part of the cloud management community team. If you are watching on the cloud management community channel, thank you very much. Good to see you again. If you're on Travis's channel, pleased to meet you. Today, we're excited to share that we're launching an awesome course, which is called Windows 365 Enterprise and Intune Management, and it's over on Udemy. Travis, you've got a, an intro video to share. Yeah, I'll launch it now. Awesome. Hello, and thank you for considering this Windows 365 Enterprise and Intune Management course. This course is designed for anyone getting started with Windows 365 or those with some experience who want to gain a deeper understanding of deploying and managing Windows 365 Enterprise cloud PCs. My name is Travis Roberts. I'm a Microsoft MVP, Microsoft Certified Trainer, and I create content on YouTube and my blog on Azure-related topics. I also authored the course Zero to Hero with Azure Virtual Desktop, available on Udemy.com. And my name is Dean Ellaby. I'm also a Microsoft MVP and Certified Trainer, and I also create content on YouTube. I've authored Intune courses both here on Udemy and on Pluralsight. We're excited to offer this course on Microsoft's newest desktop virtualization product, Windows 365 Enterprise, a cloud-based service that creates and manages cloud PCs. Sign up now to get started with the basics, what Windows 365 is, and how it compares to Azure Virtual Desktop. Then move on to deploying Windows 365 Enterprise, learn the technical requirements of Windows 365, and the client options to access cloud PCs. Next, explore advanced options, including connecting a cloud PC to a private Azure network, managing backups with restore points, and creating custom images. Once the cloud PCs are deployed, move on to managing Windows 365 with Intune. Organize cloud PCs into groups and use filters to target configuration settings. Then, review compliance options to ensure our cloud PCs stay healthy. Finally, learn how to protect access with conditional access policies and use digital forensics to preserve the state of cloud PCs for review holds. Purchase this course and you get a mix of lectures, hands-on labs to reinforce concepts, and quizzes to verify your progress along the way. Please check out the requirements to follow along with the labs in this course. In most cases, free trial licenses are available from Microsoft for use in this course. You get all that more with the purchase of this course, Windows 365 Enterprise and Intune Management. We look forward to seeing you in this course. All right. Uh, how do you feel about your avatar? It looks nothing like me at all. But, you <laughs> I know, I think you. that's, that's, that's really good. I on, on my channel, I get enough of my face on there. So it's, it's just a person. It's just a, a figure of uh, some kind of character. It's, I like it. I like it. I like yeah. the video a lot. Yeah, I've had that turned out great. So uh, uh, we uh, we're launching this course today and uh, we do have a promo code for anybody watching. Uh, let's see here if I can find it. Uh, there we go. So it's on Udemy.com. Uh, the promo code is W365Intro. And with this course, like the video said, you'll learn the basics uh, starting out with what Windows 365 is and how it compares to Azure Virtual Desktop, for example. We go into licensing and what the difference is between enterprise and basic, as well as deployment options. So, uh, you know, we can deploy this uh, real simply with uh, just pushing it out uh, with a Microsoft network, but you can even take it further by attaching to a private Azure network and even hybrid Azure AD join. Uh, so, uh, Dean, I was just curious, what what's something you learned uh, from this, uh, from putting this together that was unexpected? Uh, okay, maybe not unexpected, but I learned a lot about Windows 365 Enterprise in this course. Obviously, I, I watched through all of your content um, and to be, to be fair, I don't think there's another course like this where you have that kind of in-depth content on Windows 365 Enterprise and someone who knows a lot about Intune, myself, having that in-depth conversation and knowledge around uh, managing these devices when they're in life. I think it's an actual unique course on Udemy, certainly, but I haven't seen a course like it anywhere else. I guess from what I learned that was unexpected, a lot of the courses I do at the moment are on my own. You know, I, I don't have anyone to talk to. I don't have anyone to collaborate with. So actually collaborating with you and working with you on whether the thing I've written and the thing I've said in the video and in the course makes sense when you digest it, you know, that kind of feedback instantly is the kind of thing you get from, from plural site content creators and stuff. But um, when you're working with a, a producer on, on plural site, but 
most of my courses on Udemy and uh, YouTube are much more uh, solo. So I, I'm not kind of used to that feedback. And it was great to have that kind of feedback as we were going through it. Yeah, that's always helpful when you can we can get that feedback from somebody else who's who knows the product, so they're technical enough to yeah. be able to critique and get it back, and it makes for a better product for the end users, uh, the people taking the course. One of yeah, one of the things that that I was uh, that I found unex- I don't know if unexpected, but but I really liked is um, of how easy Windows three sixty five is to deploy, and how complex it can get. Uh, so. There's, there is a lot more flexibility than than uh, originally thought, coming from an AVD background where there's tons of flexibility, but we still have the ability. You can you can go in and assign a license to user and have them logging into a desktop in 30 minutes, 45, something like that. But you can also yeah. take it further where you're connecting these virtual, these machines that are running on Microsoft's uh, network or Microsoft's environment attached to your own network and even domain joined if you have a hybrid of, uh, Windows AD domain. Yeah, indeed. So uh, is there any favorite feature of Windows 365? Uh, (laughs) Favorite feature? I guess that you mentioned it just then, the fact that you can just give someone a license and they're instantly up and running, very quickly up and running, ready to log into a PC. That's something that can be incredibly powerful. You know, you can't even do that with physical devices. You know, if you have a new user walk into the organization and they need a computer, you have to build it, right? If it's physical or you have to get them up and running Windows 365, it's just give them a license and tell them the link to log in. It's it's very, very uh, quick. And if you look at that as one of its main powerful features, I think that is that's that is incredibly powerful on its own. Yeah. I uh, One thing that I've discovered, I kind of overlooked it at one point even, uh, the integration into Azure AD is built into the uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager portal. So you don't need to go back to Azure AD to like uh, create groups and manage users. You can do it all within that portal, which is nice. Yeah, indeed. It's it's often overlooked that the users and groups pane within Intune is just the users and groups pane within um, within Azure AD. And I've done a video where I you know I look at the two together side by side, and uh, they are they are the same actually. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we do have, a, a, you know, there are some requirements to this course. So that's something I'll just mention uh, if anybody thinking on taking it. So, you know, the, you do need an Azure AD tenant and uh, we go over all this within the videos. And I think it's even uh, the requirements are a free preview as well. So you can check that out before buying the course. A lot of the licenses required, though, are typically available as a trial for Microsoft for free for 30 days. So, uh, that makes it a really good option to uh, get an environment up and running and use the free licensing available from Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft make it really easy to get up and running with with testing it out. There was that sh- really short period where it was impossible to get a Windows 365 license because it was so mm-hmm. popular. But now that's that's all sorted out. Yeah. You can get a trial of both business and enterprise as you need. Yeah, they've ramped that up for sure. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that you know I really like, and it's actually kind of I, the way I did it in the course is it's it's optional because some people may be totally Azure AD and not have an Azure environment. If that's your case and that's what you want to learn, uh, that's fine. We have it set up that way. But you can also uh, I've included in the course is um, options to do uh, connect your cloud PCs to an Azure private network. If you need that private endpoints, those private networking there, and even uh, Azure AD join them or a hybrid Azure AD join them. Uh, So that is an optional, I I, I coined it as an optional uh, lab uh, for people who want to go down that route. Yeah, it's, I personally will always try to avoid hybrid where I can, (laughs) but it was good to go through it and understand what the capability was, because if you need it, then, you know, you might as well have that. And even if you don't need it in the role and the job you're doing now, there might be a role in the future where you need that kind of background knowledge. Right, right. So yeah, this, uh, this offer we have, the promo code is limited time. Uh, So uh, please use it if you watch this and if you could join or, or decide to purchase that, Uh, that helps us just keep track of who's watching these streams and, and uh, just to, if you do watch this uh, recorded after it's aired live and that promo code isn't good, keep an eye on our social media accounts. Uh, you may see some promo codes coming through that as well. All right. Anything else you want to add, Dean? 
Well, obviously we'll put the link for the actual course somewhere oh. in the in the chat uh, or in the in the description. But that's no. the promo code. That's the most important thing is getting this for for as big a yeah. discount as possible, which is what you're getting right there. But the link will be will be somewhere available. We we don't uh, want to forget a, that for months, sure. In a few yeah. months, yeah. All right, all right. Well, thanks everyone. Uh, thanks for considering this course, and we appreciate you uh, spending time with us. Yeah. See you next time.